The Gospel of Mark captures a moment of intensity in Jesus' ministry. As the crowds pressed in, demanding his attention, and his own family questioned his sanity, we glimpse the profound pressures Jesus faced during his earthly mission. This passage invites us to reflect on the challenges Jesus encountered and consider how we respond when the demands of life seem overwhelming. In these verses, Jesus enters a house and the crowd quickly gathers, making it nearly impossible for him to eat. The relentless demands on his time and energy create an environment of constant pressure. The word pressed implies not just a physical closeness, but a pressing in on all sides, a suffocating intensity that characterized Jesus' public life. The reaction of his family adds another layer to the narrative. Concerned about his well-being, they assert that he is out of his mind. This moment highlights the profound misunderstanding and rejection Jesus faced, even from those close to him. His family, perhaps well-intentioned, struggles to comprehend the enormity of his mission and the divine purpose behind his actions. In contemporary terms, many of us can relate to the pressures Jesus experienced. The demands of work, family, and societal expectations can create an overwhelming sense of being pressed on all sides. Additionally, there may be moments when our commitment to a higher purpose is misunderstood or even questioned by those who care about us. Yet, in the midst of these pressures, Jesus remains steadfast in his mission. He responds to the intense demands with grace and continues to teach and heal. His focus on the kingdom of God and his unwavering commitment to his divine calling serve as a model for us when we face the pressures of life. This passage challenges us to reflect on how we handle the pressures that come with our responsibilities, ambitions, and commitments. Do we, like Jesus, find strength in our higher purpose and remain focused on our calling even when faced with overwhelming demands? Are we able to navigate misunderstanding and criticism with grace and resilience? Heavenly Father, as we delve into the Gospel of Mark, we find Jesus navigating the intense pressures of his ministry, crowds pressing in, demands on his time, and even misunderstanding from his own family. We come before you in prayer, seeking the grace to navigate the pressures of our own lives with the same steadfastness and commitment. Lord, we acknowledge the challenges we face in our daily lives, the demands of work, family, and societal expectations that can press in on us from all sides. Grant us the strength to find our grounding in you, to remain focused on our higher purpose, and to approach the pressures of life with resilience and grace. In moments when our commitment to a higher purpose is misunderstood, help us respond with love and patience. May we emulate Jesus' unwavering dedication to his divine mission, even in the face of criticism and questioning. Grant us the wisdom to discern the priorities that align with your kingdom and to navigate the complexities of life with grace. Lord, we lift up to you the specific pressures we are facing, whether in our relationships, work, or personal endeavors. Pour out your grace upon us that we may find strength in you and respond to challenges with a spirit of resilience and hope. Help us to bear the burdens of life with grace, trusting in your guidance and provision. In moments of overwhelming demands, may we find solace in the quiet moments of prayer and reflection, just as Jesus sought refuge in the midst of his busy ministry. Grant us the wisdom to prioritize our time and energy, recognizing the importance of both rest and action in fulfilling our callings. We also lift up those around us who may be facing intense pressures and challenges. May our communities be places of support and understanding, where we can share one another's burdens and extend the grace that comes from knowing you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who faced the pressures of humanity with divine grace, we offer this prayer. Amen.